All right, we're going to talk about the Snap-on Multi-Probe Ultra Circuit Tester EECT900. And what I'm going to feature now is the hot shot function. The hot shot function is a, a test that the tool will do for either a positive connection or a negative connection back to the battery. And essentially what it does is it tests to make sure that the connection is normal and it'll pass up to 45 amps of current. So the tool actually loads the circuit. So let's talk about how we're going to do that. What we've done is we've connected the tool to a negative supply and a positive supply just like hooking it to the battery. I just didn't go all the way back to the battery because I wanted it to, to show that we're connected between negative and positive. In addition, I've connected a test lead that I'm going to show how the tool tests. So this is just connected in with the positive. And since it's a positive, when we hook it to the tool, the tool is going to actually test on hot shot. Now to get there, let's start at the beginning. When you turn on the tool, it's going to always turn on at the switch. I put it to momentary because I just want to test it with the with the um, one burst. We could put it on pulse or latch. So once you get it on momentary, you hit your menu. We're going to go on up to volts DC. We're going to hit menu. And on the side here, you can see you have a choice of hot shot, volts DC, or battery status. I'm going to scroll until I've got hot shot on the screen at which point any wire that I touch it's going to run current through it to make sure that it's got a viable connection so now you wouldn't want to do this on an ECM circuit you only want to do this on a wire that runs straight back to the battery so my test lead here runs directly back to the battery which is my supply here okay so I wanted to see what the tool actually does and essentially it runs a test between the tip of the tool over here and the battery supply over here. So if I hook my wire that I want to test up to the tip, it tells me to press minus because it knows this is a positive. So I hit the minus on the top here. So over here I'm going to hit the minus. So when I hit minus, it says normal connection. But more importantly, I want to know what it did. So we're going to move over to the scope meter here for a minute. So here's my scope meter. Let's come back to that and look down here at what I did with the scope meter. I put my current clamp around the lead that I tested. So here's my test wire. Here's my current clamp attached to it. So then I ran my current clamp over to my scope, channel B, and I captured this. So when I hit the button, essentially what happened was it gave me, and, and my current clamp is set at 10 amps per division, so from cursor to cursor I got 31.2 amps of current that it tried to pass through my test lead. Now, I want to point out that it did that for a very short period of time. 2.08 milliseconds cursor on to cursor off. So you can see that it's just a quick burst, 31 amps, and it comes back with a positive read on that connection or a viable normal connection. So again, that's back over to the tool here that's hot shot. Now if I were to connect my test lead to negative, so I'm going to put my test lead over here to negative, hook my negative back up, hook my positive supply back up. Now my tool turns back on and it opens its switch again. If I hit M I can tell that it's on momentary. I need to go up to volts DC, hit M, now I have hot shot up here, so I'm going to select hot shot. 
right there. I'm going to connect my test lead and it's going to tell me to press positive. So I hit positive up here and it's going to test the connection and come back with a normal connection. So either positive or negative, it'll take you by the hand and tell you which one.